morning, love. You know, you really should have joined me down there at the lake. It's quite refreshing. Was that man from the garage still working on your car? Oh, yeah. See, he mumbled something about clogged fuel jets or something. I, you know, when it comes to mechanical things. Is that coffee? Tea. Well, there's hope for you yet. Despite a few superficial changes, Sabrina Hughes and Sabrina Fullerton still have a lot more in common than you'd like to think. Get dressed, Colin. When do you plan to tell Mr. Snyder that he's the object of your insatiable desire, hmm? Or better yet, when will you tell your sister that you plan to bed her fiancé? It won't work. Oh, I have a great deal of faith in your uh, powers of persuasion. You can't get a rise out of me that easily anymore. Yeah, so I've noticed. You look beautiful. And that dress reminds me of uh, the summer that we met. Do you remember? We were at Eric's party, that ghastly little thing. Oh, God, what a ball. And uh, you walked in the door, and I think that my wife introduced us. Yes, Marguerite. Dear Lord. Listen, we met on a Wednesday, and we were in bed by Saturday, wasn't it? Yes. It's very clever of you. I thought it was all my affair. <laughs> You're an even more clever at seducing the objects of your passion. Oh, yes. And what passion? Yes, I like that. Come on. Oh, dear. Don't fight it. Tell me now. Does art inspire passion or passion art? Or do you care as long as you're satisfied? makes me believe that you still love me just as oh, much as I do. don't call that love. Call it, call it lust. Call it whatever you want, but don't call it love. You wanted me. Yes. Yes, I did. And I might not have been able to stop myself if you hadn't thrown love in my face. You never loved me, Colin. You wanted me. I wanted you. Oh, come on, Sabrina. You know that we meant more to each other than that. Oh, yes. Of course, I forgot. You needed me. Because you were trapped in a boring marriage that failed to inspire you. Yes, that's it, isn't it? All right, yes, fine. I wanted you, I needed you, you inspired me. So isn't that what love's about? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's so sad, Colin. You don't even know the difference. I can't blame you. Neither did I. Until recently. Oh. And has Seth Snyder taught you all there is to know about love? Actually, he has. I've watched him with my sister. He's so gentle. He's so unselfishly caring. Do you know, I think they'd never made love. That puzzled me. Until I realised that for them it was something precious. Something to be shared only after they committed themselves to each other for a lifetime. You and I couldn't begin to understand that. We burned up whatever feelings we had for each other by giving into our passion every time we were together. Yes, because those feelings were so strong. Oh, yes, they were. But they weren't love. I thought they were, but I was wrong. Very American of you, Sabrina. What is this Puritan ethic? I mean, love is denial? Self-restraint? I thought you were more liberated than that. <laughs> what I had with you as anything but liberating, Colin. It was suffocating, it was confining, there was no future for us. Well, yes, if you mean marriage, well, if then... if you say that word, you might as well be saying prison. <gasps> and funny don't feel that way. For them it's a beginning, not an ending. It's not the fact of a marriage that's important, it's a commitment. And I want that, Colin. I want that more than anything I've ever wanted in my life. More than all the money in the world. More than success in my career. And certainly more than some momentary passionate release with you on the floor. Oh, bravo! Don't make fun of me. I hope you get whatever you want, love. 
Just tell me one thing. Don't you think that your beloved sister is going to regret the fact that she chased halfway across the continent to save your life just so that you could meet her set? Thank you.